Hey all, Doug from Convology here. Today I want to show you a really cool um, kind of showcase and a little bit of a tutorial on how to create a quiz funnel using ConvertBox, which is an awesome lead segmentation tool I've talked about here on the channel um, and on the blog many times before. And I want to walk through how we can take a quiz funnel using ConvertBox and integrate it not only with our website, our email marketing provider, WooCommerce, uh, and even a little upgrade uh, Google Spreadsheets and have a spreadsheet send emails as well. So I just want to dive in and show you the uh, really cool quiz funnel first, and then we'll kind of take a look at how I put that together. Um, so this is one of the websites I'm building. Um, actually, uh, I'm working on this. And this is a quiz funnel to help people figure out which uh, supplements are best for their dog's joint health. So we have this quiz called the Get Flexi Quiz, and the customers can take this quiz and answer some questions uh, about their dog and then get recommended a formula. So let's walk through some of these questions and I'll kind of give you some feedback here. So first we ask for the name and what's neat about our forms in ConvertBox is that they actually remember the data. So when I previously took this as part of a uh, test, I entered uh, the name Barky, but let's go ahead and change the name to Bowser. And then it asks for your email. Uh, it's remembered my email from previously. So I'll just change that. And then we start asking questions and we have a progress meter and um, we want to get data about the customer so that we can enter these variables into our ConvertKit account or to our email marketing platform and send them personalized marketing emails in the future. So for example, we ask what breed their dog is. Um, we can say Labrador. Uh, what is your dog's age, right? So we can get start to get an age range of the dogs. Um, is your dog male or female? Um, how much does your dog weigh? Um, we can just choose any option here and then we click the next step. And then part of this quiz funnel is also getting a specific weight of the dog. And we do this because we're developing joint supplements and we want to get really specific. Um, so in some cases, we're going to ask for the weight of the dog and the person can, I don't know, type in whatever the weight of their dog might be. And then we start to diagnose questions, right? This is where it gets into the quiz funnel. We're asking um, yes and no questions so that um, we can guide and funnel this person towards a specific answer. So in this case, we'll say yes. Uh, the dog is slow getting up in the morning. Uh, the activity level, right? Is this somebody who has a very sedentary dog or an active dog? So we'll just say sedentary. Um, here we're going to do a conditional question with some skip logic. So are you feeding any other supplements to your dog? If I say yes, it asks for the name. So I can enter the name of like a supplement. I can click next. And then we ask what kind of diet they're feeding their dog. And we're doing this for a little bit of customer research. We want to know, do our customers uh, stick with canned, dry, or raw food? So we're going to say... We'll say dry food, let me click next. And then we need to ask about medications. So yeah, the dog might be taking uh, maybe ibuprofen because this is a joint health supplement. So maybe on ibuprofen for pain. And then we ask about any other concerns um, for their dog. We'll just you know say none. And what's nice is that we've been giving the customer as they're taking this quiz a little bit of insight along the way of how long until they're finished. And we'll just click next. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna create a custom formulation of joint health supplements for the dog. And then it's going to send them over to the custom page that we've developed in Thrive Architect and WooCommerce. So you'll see here we've done a couple of really cool things. The first is that we've dynamically pulled in the name of the dog that we entered uh, in the quiz. That's super cool because throughout the page, we're referencing the dog's exact name. Then we're giving the dog a recommended custom formulation based on the answers that they gave us in the quiz. We have here a uh, WooCommerce checkout form. This is actually built using cart flows and I'll include links in the description of the video to all the tools that we're using and we'll walk through this in, in a lot more detail here. Um, but essentially this is a cart flows two-step checkout which we thought worked really well here because we wanted to keep it all above the fold so they can enter in their uh, details and as they fill this information out we're actually capturing it in real time uh, and then putting it into our cart abandonment sequence. So if they don't finish the checkout um, so this is the step one for shipping, and then they can enter their payment information uh, and then get put on the subscription. And then if they scroll down, it's just more of a sales page. Again, this is built in Thrive Architect, but combined with cart flows. Um, so we can have a funnel of a checkout page and a thank you page sequence. And, you know, we've, we've included a little bit more information about what's in their particular formulation. Uh, again, using Thrive Architect, we've used uh, expandable um, accordion sections, and, and that's it. We've kept it super simple. But what's really cool is that when the person checks out here and they uh, they enter this cart information, um, two things happen. First, it processes the payment using uh, WooCommerce and Stripe. And 
then it sends that data to a couple of places. One into WooCommerce so that we know that uh, this customer completed the checkout. Um, and then in ConvertKit, they get tagged as a customer and they get started on their post-purchase automation sequence. And also what's happening is that data is being sent over to our uh, Google Doc. And in our Google Doc here, we have all the customer's data that they filled out in the convert box quiz. And now this is super cool because um, as data gets filled out, and these, these are just all my tests because um, we haven't launched this yet, um, but as the user fills all this data out, it's filling in this spreadsheet. And when they make a purchase on the website, so they fill out, they take the quiz funnel, they get shown the custom formulation that's right for them. That's our purchase sequence and they buy. When that happens, their data gets matched up in this spreadsheet based on the email address that they used. It does a lookup and it finds the row with their email and then it populates that row with their purchase data. I have it set up to add the customer's name because you'll note during that quiz funnel, we only collected the dog's name. And then it adds their name here, their phone number, which we get during checkout and the price that they paid for their uh, custom formulation. So that is, uh, that is super cool um, because what this allows us to do is we have a, uh, one of our uh, partners uh, packs all of the custom formulations and, and he's uh, like a canine nutrition expert. So he might look at this data and say, oh, you're feeding your dog this certain supplement or this medication. You know, we, we need to check with the vet first. And so they handle all of those details um, on, the, on the other end of this, but they need this information. So not only do they not only do we need this info all in one place because we've got some really cool spreadsheet stuff um, that creates order forms and uh, labels and stuff like that, um, but we also need this info emailed directly to our nutrition expert. So what happens is this data goes into the spreadsheet for anyone that takes our quiz, but only if they purchase, what's so cool is then this data, all of it gets sent in an email to our team. So let's look at behind the scenes how we put this all together and kind of show you how you can replicate something similar because so much power here in this funnel so i first want to go to convertbox now um convertbox uh, you can get that at convology.com convertbox there's a lifetime deal going right now it's super affordable for what you get um, it's super powerful in its integrations which is why i love this over something like thrive leads if you're looking for something more robust so let me show you how we put this together this is a um, a full screen, as you saw when we, if I go back to our homepage, if I start this up, it's a full screen takeover. Um, so we've got a full screen convert box here. And you can see we have all the ability to add all these uh, neat widgets to it, but we kept it simple. We just asked for the dog's name. And one of the things I'll click on this form field, um, it's a multi-step and each step has its own form. And if I click on form settings and I go to, um, yeah, actually you'll see there's there's nothing that I needed to do here. And this is what I wanted to point out. By default, ConvertBox takes all of the data that are entered in on forms, regardless of what step they're entered in on. And if there's no action or integration that requires, requires that data to be sent somewhere, it stores the data until you say, okay, all that data you've gathered, I now want you to send it somewhere. So the only action we've put on this form is that when they click get started, which is the equivalent of a submit button, it just goes to the next step. So now if we go to close that, we go to steps here, you can see we have all the steps of our quiz funnel. So step two, we ask for their email address and you'll note when they entered the dog's name, if I just click uh, edit here and I go to um, fields and I edit this field, what is your dog's name? I do want to note here that I um, used the first name field. So the first name field, um, when you add new fields, I chose first name. By doing so on email, I can reference the, what is this called, like a merge tag or something like that, you know, the two squiggly brackets and and basically it pulls in the dog's name as if it was the first name. And then I'm asking for their email. And, and again, just coming in here, there's really no integrations except going to the next step. Um, and you'll see that if I edit this field, super simple, I didn't have to do anything complex. So now where this gets really cool is in the dog weight cat or the, uh, I call it the breed age weight uh, step. If I click on this form, you'll note that these settings, like what is the breed of your dog? 
I've um, entered in some field name identifiers. So these are those like variables that your autoresponder, your email marketing platform will use. So for example, um, breed is going to go directly into ConvertKit in this case, and ConvertKit will then store as a custom field the breed that they entered in for their dog. And we've done the same thing for all of these fields, um, which is really cool. So we've just continually added a new step and this um, progress bar at the top, all we've done is set the percentage manually on each step, super customizable. Um, but one cool thing, let's look at, um, let's look at this step here called other supplements. So are you feeding any other supplements to your dog? We don't want to ask them what supplements if they say no. So the step below that, the which supplements step, we actually have skip logic and you'll see we have an option here to look at skip logic. And this step will be skipped, the one where we ask them what additional supplements, if they said no. So we have the ability to create a condition that skips this step. And we've done the same thing for medications and things like that. Now, one cool step that I want to show you is that we have what I, I created a blank step called analyzing. And this step, if I go, so basically you saw when I filled this out, once they fill out the last question about additional concerns about their dog, it did that like little gear spinning thing. And it says, you know, we're creating your custom formulation. Um, I created this blank step and used skip logic. And the skip logic I've used here is um, to show the analyzing results. And I was able to create, just enter in what I wanted it to say. And then I added some conditional skip um, variables here, which is just basically, um, so no one ever sees this blank screen. I've just basically said, if they choose this option, if they choose that option, skip. So once I'm done finished building this, I'll enter in all the variables. So this step will always be skipped and it will always show the analyzing. Just a little like cool trick I figured out um, that you can do uh, to show that analyzing results at the end when you're going to redirect somebody um, to another page like we are. But kind of to wrap up the, what we're looking at here with ConvertBox, uh, what's cool about the uh, this little redirection section, if I go back to my skip logic here, um, based on the size of the dog, that's one of the biggest factors for this particular uh, quiz funnel. Based on the size of the dog that they select, they're going to be redirected to a different page. Um, right now, just for demo purposes, it's the same page, but eventually for each dog size category, we're going to have a different page that they get redirected to that has the custom formulation for them with the custom variables passed through. So we're, we're doing that redirect after showing analyzing results with that skip logic. Now, to pass that data over to our Google Sheet and subsequently into emails and things like that, if I just look at the last form on our convert box, so the very last form that's collecting information, we come in here to form settings and we go to our integrations and you'll see that we are sending data via webhook, which just basically sends all of this data in a package over to the service that I'm using called Pabbly Connect, P-A-B-B-L-Y. I'll have a link in the description for you and coming up on the screen here. Um, but essentially this is where we send our data after submittal. It's also going into our ConvertKit account. I am going to add that integration. Once I finish this up, I'm kind of giving you a behind the scenes look before it's done here but this is where we would add our integrations. And then what happens is all of the form fields that we've submitted up until this point through each of these steps, right? Are you on medication? What kind of diet are you on? Each of these variables is being stored until we finally add in an integration. Such a cool feature. So let me show you now Pabbly Connect. So here we are in Pabbly. This is essentially just like Zapier, except I think last time I checked, it's like 100 times more affordable. I think on Zapier, you get 750. I think at the first level you pay for you like 750 um, processes or whatever they're called when data is submitted. With Pabbly, for even less money, I believe, you get like 12,000. So what is that? 10, 11, 15 times the number of submissions. So totally a no brainer. I'll put my affiliate link in there if you want to pick up Pabbly. Um, definitely do so if you like some of these things I'm about to show you. But essentially, we just map to our Google Sheet. We connect with Google Sheets. We connect with our, our webhook here, just the stage above. Um, and we map the fields, right? So in my, in my spreadsheet here, if we scroll back over, I've got these headers, dog name, dog email, gender, breed, age. Check this out. We have dog name, dog email, gender, breed, age. It's just mapping all these fields, and we submitted a little test through convert box and boom, just map all the fields in. And uh, what happens is after it submits is it just, 
it just works. It just puts the data in. Um, and you know me, if you follow this channel, one of my favorite sayings is it just works. All right, so let's take a look at the other workflow in our Pabli uh, funnel here. We have, if I look at the center of the screen here, we have WooCommerce going into Google Sheets twice. So let's jump in and take a look at how this works. So with this WooCommerce integration, WooCommerce, just like in Zapier, if you're familiar with it, you choose the different apps that you want to connect. So we want to connect WooCommerce on our WordPress website with this particular, and I, the reason I'm not scrolling up is because there's a webhook I don't want to share publicly here, but essentially the webhook from WooCommerce sends data to Pabli when an order is submitted. If we scroll down here, we have a Google Sheet that's going to look up our rows. Let's take a look at that. So if we come in here, it's going to look up that exact sheet that we saw before, and we're telling it that we want to look up column B. And if I jump over here, column B is the email they submitted in the quiz. So column B is going to look it up and it's going to say, does that match the email that was submitted on the order? And in this case, I had submitted my test order. So it says, find this email in column B. Okay, and after it does that, we go in here and we say, okay, we want to update that row. So let me click in here. Now it says, okay, awesome. We want to, on this row, skip these fields because we already populated them. And instead we're going to populate the customer data. If we jump back to our spreadsheet, we're gonna, we're gonna populate this customer data instead. And in this last step, I'm using SendGrid as an SMTP service that I basically use to email our team and it contains all of the variables from the WooCommerce order, as well as all of the variables from the spreadsheet so that our team can review the order that comes in, can review the answers they gave uh, in the quiz funnel, and can make sure that the product they've ordered will be a good fit for their dog, and to make sure we give them that extra bit of white glove service. So that's kind of a little bit of inspiration for you all. Um, just to kind of recap here, one of the most important things is this quiz funnel from ConvertBox. So really, I got to say, this is the best tool that I have found that integrates with just about everything in that workflow that I showed you. Um, so if you have any questions about getting started with uh, ConvertBox and developing a quiz funnel and integrating it with uh, your email, like ActiveCampaign or ConvertKit or whatever, and then integrating it with Google Sheets, um, integrating it with emails and WooCommerce and just getting all of it to be one like autonomous automated system, uh, definitely reach out and let me know. I'd be happy to kind of help you um, maybe find out where where you can automate and just make, make a really cool process that's going to delight your website visitors and it's going to give you the data you need to market to your customers more effectively. So that'll do it for this uh, video. I'll include similar uh, details in my write-up at convology.com. So if I've neglected any details, head over there and see if I've included them and, and feel free to ask some questions. And um, that'll do it for me. I will see you guys all in the next video.